going to be launching a tasty pastry. It's a low carb pop tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs. And we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Thursday, December 16th, 2021. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. I know it's still early, but it's not too early for this double shot of Phil Heath that we've got coming your way. A few days ago, the seven-time Olympia champ released this short clip of himself hitting a few shots after an arm workout. And from the way he looks, he isn't feeling any ill effects from when he was out with COVID a few weeks ago. I don't know how big Phil's arms are now, and to tell you the truth, he probably doesn't know either. But I do know this, even now in retirement, his front double is still one of the best in the world. And we sure all hope and pray that we can look half as good once we all venture off into the next stage of our lifting careers. Hey, 212 Division, I don't want to scare you, but you might want to see a doctor because there's an Ashkenazi variant floating around out there that looks like it might be very dangerous. Ahmad released a short clip of himself running through a few poses earlier this week. And if we're being honest with ourselves, we can agree that this is starting to get scary. It felt like a big deal when he secured that win at Prague a few weeks ago. And it seems like he's only getting better since then. We've all seen how good Ahmad can be when he's at his best. So if he stock keeps going upward is going to be a problem for a lot of people come next year. Brandon Hendrickson might have a stranglehold on men's physique right now, but if you pay attention to this division, then you know that it has some really talented guys moving up the ladder. And Andre Du is near the top of the list. According to reports, Andre's feeling motivated to jump back into his off-season program after taking a little time to rest and recoup. And there seems to be a lot of optimism from his camp about his ability to build on what he established last year. Over the last two seasons, Andre's emerged as one of the most improved athletes in the division. And if he keeps heading in the direction he's going, he might be a top three guy next year. Listen, I know that I'm an old school guy and that I come from an era where people didn't mind a little bit of trash talk because it was something that just came with the territory. That being said, there are levels to trash talk and telling the world that you're willing to get a tattoo if someone beats your best friend on the next Olympia stage is on another level. In case you missed it, last week Ian Valier was on a podcast with the Algundi brothers and when they asked him if he thought Ramon Dino had a chance to beat Chris at the Olympia next year, he said that he would get a dinosaur tattooed on his body if Ramon could pull it off. So now here's the thing about that. I know Ian to be a man of his word, and this is bodybuilding where anything can happen on any given night. We see it over and over again every year. So if something funky does happen and Ramon ends up being the new champ, since Ian said it publicly, not only do I think he has to get that tattoo now, well, I think Ramon should get to pick the design. What do you think about that one? And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo, reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.